Hello YouTube, Freddy Cardona here. Welcome back to another Fred Drives video. We're gonna feature Little Fairy here in New Jersey as part of my Fred Drives playlist. These, this is a playlist that features videos on the highways and byways of Northern New Jersey. I've done a lot of towns in this area. As you can see, the Little Fairy sign right there, welcome. To little fairy i'm going to pull over here for a moment we're going to let this car go by so you can see the sign there little fairy and we are on redneck road so we're going to start the tour here on redneck road or redneck avenue i'm sorry redneck avenue we've got Lomb lombard instrument there on the right i am not an official tour guide Let me uh, zoom in a little bit. There we go. Redneck Avenue. We're crossing Franklin Street. I'm going to try to stay within the city limits of Little Ferry. If I leave Little Ferry for a moment as we pass, as we cross Robbie Road. If I do leave Little Ferry for a moment, it's okay. If you lived in Little Ferry or if you still live here, a lot of these surrounding towns will be familiar to you as well. And we're recording these towns for history. You can go back and see what the town looked like as we cross Wilson Street, still on Redneck Avenue. If I see a bus stop, I will try to, to let you know what buses go in that area. So we're going to go north. We're gonna make a left here on Liberty Street. I think we have the library here on the left. As we wait on the red light, we have signs. If we make a right, you'll hit Karlstad and Munaki. If we hit left, if we go left, you're gonna hit Route 46 and Teterboro. I mean, you're not gonna hit the town, obviously. You're not allowed to hit things or people or places as we make this left-hand turn. Got a Wells Fargo there on the left. Crossing Howard Street, H-E, U E R. We got we got some uh, an apartment complex there on the left. I can't make out the name of it from my vantage point here. We've got Old Glory waving majestically on either side of us on the poles. Our good old red, white, and blue. This used to be Morning Star East Garden Shop Tree and Flower Supply. On the right, we've got Mr. Bruno's Pizza to the right of us in a little strip mall, Dairy Queen, Berry Queen Dry Cleaners. Gilbert Manor Apartments, I see there on the left. As we crossed Main Street, and we have the Florence Apartments on the right. We're about to cross Route 46 to go on the other side of 46. And we're gonna go up to Bacchio Street. Bacchio Street, B-A-C-K-I-E-L Street. Stopped here on a red light. It turned green. It's gonna be a little traffic-y because it is rush hour. Gasoline as of the filming of this video is 327 cash, 335 regular here at this fuel for gas station. Crossing Route 46, an iconic highway in Northern New Jersey.
If you're a visitor to the channel, we thank you for visiting. You got Palermo's there on the left, wood fire pizza. If you're a subscriber, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for your loyal viewership. If you want to become a Fred Scriber or an ATF agent, all things Fred, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We've got the Apple Lane condominium there on the left. And Ledgewood Terrace on the right. So we're entering Hackensack now. I did a video in Hackensack. If you haven't seen it, check it out. So I never made that right on Bacchio Street. So we are going to turn here in Hackensack. Put on your Fred Scriber glasses and your anti-blurry glasses. As we turn around, this is a, par a proper three-point turn. as we leave Hackensack and go back into the city limits. And it says here that we made this ride on Caliconic Road, going back on Munaki Avenue. We're gonna wait for traffic to subside so I can safely make this right-hand turn. Sometimes you never know how fast the car is going on the other side, they can Get up, get up to you really quick. So you're going to get the other side of Liberty Street here. Going south, I believe. You get the other vantage point. See, you never know what you're going to get when you follow and subscribe to my channel. If there's a city that you would like featured, you have to be a subscriber. And before you feature it, make sure I haven't featured it already. So let's say you want me to feature Moonaki. Type in the search Pride in Patterson Moonaki. And if I featured your city or town, it'll be there. You'll see it in my channel. Crossing 46 again. Renaissance Equity Incorporated. I saw a sign there on the left. Now mind you, when you request a, a town, just keep in mind that I am not a full-time YouTuber. I have a 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. I've got errands on Saturdays and family with my, my son and my grandkids on Sunday. So I do these when I get the chance and if I'm close to that area. So if you pick something like Waxahachie, Texas, I may not be able to do that city for you. Is that really in Texas, Waxahachie, Texas? Or is that New Mexico? Just saw a sign there, Borough of Little Ferry. That was the municipal building on the right hand side there, by the way. We just went past that. We're going past William Street. past Nihos Avenue, the Little Ferry Public Schools there on the left. Not sure what school number that is. It just says Little Ferry. Continuing south. So yeah, if you're from Little, Little Ferry, please let us know. St. Margaret of Cortana Parish there on the corner of Chamberlain and Liberty. There was a bus stop there, but I didn't get a chance to stop and see what buses go through there. There were people at the bus stop and I didn't want to spook them. We're going to make a left here on Washington Avenue. You've got Craig D's Deli and Pizza and Juliano's hairstyling. Joe Caruso's barbershop there on the left. And Dong San Alliance Church on the left. 
we just crossed Hester Street with Sunny's Seafood Market there on the right, crossing Nicholas Street, crossing Helen Street. See, if you're from Little Ferry, you would have never thought that somebody would be featuring your town. Whiskey Rose there on the left, and that iconic Pepsi sign there on the right. I love those little mom and pop stores. They're reminiscent of the old days. Making sure we're still, we are still in Little Ferry. So if you're from Little Ferry, let us know in the comments below. Share your memories if you feel so inclined. We've got Hans Chicken there on the right and Bible House on the right also. You got Pickens Street on the left. small uh, like a body of water on the left there I don't know if that's a, a brook a, a stream or a pond I'm gonna make a left and Bergen Turnpike look like a little farm here on the right I know it wasn't an actual farm, but it looked like when you're driving in a rural area and you see the wooden fence with corn growing. We're just driving around. Let's check out this dead end here. Damasi construction there on the right. See, this is the place to go to see things that you normally wouldn't see on YouTube. We got the Burl of, I would imagine that Little Ferry main pumping station. I don't know if I got that right or not, but look at that place right there. That building, I wonder what that was. If you're local to this area, let us know. I'm gonna put you back into the sun. You might get it might get blurry on the screen here. But if you have on your special Fred Scriber sunglasses, you should be fine. We're going to continue on Bergen Turnpike. We've got Sign Avenue on the left. I, I guess they make signs. And the post office is also there on the left. Got some new construction here on the right. As you know, my name, my channel name is Pride in Patterson. All that means is that my home base is in Patterson, but I also show other towns. And the reason I say that is because a lot of construction is also going up in Patterson, which is getting a lot of criticism. But there's a lot of these constructions going on in a lot of towns. So bringing you on a tour of the residential area here this is Poplar Avenue again see if you live on Poplar Avenue or if you lived on Poplar Avenue you'd have never thought that your street would be featured see see that's why you have to subscribe become a Fred Scriber as we make a left on Wernicking place here in Little Ferry We're gonna make a right on Main Street. Was I already on this street? I can't tell. Sorry about the blurriness and the and the uh, glare that happens with this windshield. I'm so sorry about that. I guess I should turn around and go the other way, right? 
Let's go down this dead end. This is Herman Street. We're gonna turn around. I hate to go into people's driveways to turn around. However, I have no choice. Okay, making a right. We got rescue 308 and tower ladder 307 there. Gotta let the pedestrians go first. Crossing Frederick Street. Hey, that's my favorite street. Frederick Street. I do hope you're enjoying. You got Little Ferry Emergency Services there on the right. You got a park on the right as well. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying this little tour of Little Ferry. I wanna let that car behind me go first. I don't wanna to go too fast. I wanna show you everything. We're gonna make a right on North Washington Avenue. Was this Bergen Turnpike? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Ooh, 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 potholes, ooh, out, potholes. Going back into the sun. I'm so sorry about this, guys. For laughs and giggles, we're gonna make a left right here. On Ludwig Street. Oh, we got a little doggy. Hey, buddy. Say hello. You got some type of distribution center. You got Rexing, R E X I N G. Right there, Rexing, 34 Ludwig Street. See, that's why you have to follow the channel. You never know what you're gonna see. We're gonna make this left again on Washington Avenue. Bumpy bumpage. We just have to make sure we make this left when it's safe to do so. I hope you're enjoying this little mini tour of Little Ferry as we go past Pickens Street. on Washington that's Hans Chicken again on the left one thing I've learned from doing these drives is that I've really learned about different places different establishments different cities and we're gonna make this next left here this is M E H R M E H R H O F Merhoff Road Murhoff. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Mostly residential neighborhoods with a downtown area. And some of these dead ends do have industry as we cross Warren Street.
crossing Lewis Street. This particular street that we're going as we cross Prospect, there is no outlet up here. And there's a Lawson Sloat Creek Park on the right here pretty soon. Rose Street. Let's see, what's the name of this park? Lawson Sloat Creek Park. It's protected forest and meadows with trails. Very interesting, very cool. We just went past it there on the right. This is the Shannon Dalton Ford Memorial Field on the right hand side. And also on the right side, there was the 911 9-11 Memorial Field. And we've got the Murhoff Pond Wildlife Observation Area. Finishing up the Little Fairy Tour. And so to end it, we're going to end it right here. I'm not sure what place this is. We're going to turn around because we don't want to trespass. All right, guys, we're going to end the video here. I want to thank you for joining me. I guess I got to put my seatbelt on, right? So I want to thank you guys for joining me on this tour of Little Ferry, New Jersey and the Murhoff Pond inside this incredible town. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Let us know that you enjoyed the video. We're on the corner of McCabe Court, by the way. Make sure you subscribe and like if you want to be notified of any future videos. And for those of you who are wondering how you can support the channel, you just got to view the videos. That's it. View the videos, like, subscribe, share. Uh, make sure that we're, we get these videos out there on the algorithms on YouTube. We're closing in on 3,000 subscribers. Ooh, lock this in better. Yeah, so make sure to share these videos. Get other folks to subscribe to become Fred Scribers and ATF agents. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video.